hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video it is Oma here again and today I have another perfume video for you guys you guys are in for a treat so today I'm going to be talking about affordable Middle Eastern fragrances that smell exactly when I say exactly I mean exactly like your designer fragrances okay you're going to be paying less and you're going to be getting bang on results all right, so if you have that expensive fragrance that you've been eyeing that you've been wanting to buy and you just cannot justify the amount you're going to spend on that, you're welcome because I'm spilling some juicy, juicy teas today. Let's get right into it, shall we? Okay, so first on the list today, I'm going to be talking about Tom Ford Black Orchid. That's black orchid dna is either a love or hate with so many people because it is a very very strong perfume and the juice is so potent that it, it will literally choke you out now if you want something watered down but still have the same smell you should definitely check out out of zafferan's wood 24 hours now don't be fooled by the name it doesn't last 24 hours and there is definitely no wood in it what this is what it looks like it that is what it looks like it is definitely a bang on dupe of tom ford's black orchid it would not last you 24 hours like tom ford black orchid would naturally do but then again it smells so alike you can get that same dna in it it smells exactly like tom ford black orchid in the air you can hardly tell the difference especially if you're not a perfume if you don't have that distinctive nose to differentiate an original from an inspiration but i'm telling you it smells exactly like tom ford's black orchid this is the 30 ml i'm going to insert what the 100 ml looks like you should definitely check this out if you want to know what Tom Ford Black Orchid smells like. Next. So, if you're a fan of Dior's Pure Poison, if you love that DNA and love that perfume and you're not willing to splash on getting another bottle, then definitely check out Latafa's Samu. They've changed the bottles a couple of times. This is not what it used to look like. I'll insert a picture of what it used to look like here. But just in case you get this or that one, it's completely fine. This is Latafa Samu and it shares a, a similar DNA with Dior's Pure Poison. Now, I can actually say that Dior's Pure Poison is actually creamier. While this leans a little bit medicinal. But I can tell you for sure that this smells exactly like Dior's Pure Poison with a little bit of twist to it. Yeah, it smells so beautiful. Now, if you want to check out Dior's Pure Poison or you want to have an idea of what that smells like, then definitely check out Latafa's Samu. Next. Now, if you watched my top five female fragrances on my channel you should not be surprised to see the next perfume I'm going to be talking about there and that is because I mentioned this perfume and I complained on how the perfume is no longer available and I'm sure most of you are not surprised that I got a dupe or inspiration of that perfume and the perfume I'm talking about is Marc Jacobs Decadence now if you love Marc Jacobs Decadence like I do I know some people don't love that perfume but I mean do you if you love that perfume then you should definitely check out La Taffa's Kima gosh I love this bottle so much it is so pretty this is what Kima looks like Kima is also a dupe of Mm. It is also a dupe of Marc Jacobs Decadence. They smell so alike in the air. It is, has that creamy juice. It has that creamy note to it and it smells so alike to Marc Jacobs Decadence. I did a video on this and I compared this to the original Marc Jacobs Decadence and if you want to check that out, I'm going to link it for you to go and see. Okay, but this is from Latafa and it is Kima. Okay? Yeah. Next. 
So, if you are like me that loves leather notes and strong woody scents and you gravitate towards notes like that, then definitely check out Latafa's Velvet Oud. It comes in this really cute packaging. You open it this way and then you have the perfume sitting comfortably in it. Latafa's Velvet Oud is a dupe of... Mm, is a dupe of Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. If you've tried Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather and you absolutely love that perfume but you're not willing to splash on that as well or get another re-up on that bottle, then you should check out Latafa's Velvet Hood. They literally have the same DNA. It is so strong. It lasts all day and you would not tell. You cannot tell the difference. It is exactly the same. I love it. I love it. So if you like that kind of DNA and you want to check out what Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather smells like, then definitely check out Latafa's Velvet Hood. Okay? Next. So the last fragrance I have for you guys today is from the house of Latafa. I feel like all the perfumes except for O24 hours are all from Latafa and you guys know by now that I love Latafa so much so I'm sure you're not surprised in everything from Latafa. But yeah, this is from Latafa as well and it is called Anna Abiyed I Am White. This is what the pack looks like and this is what the perfume looks like. This is a bang on dupe of Mm, it is a bang on dupe of Zerzhov's Eba Pura. Oh my god, I love it. <clears throat> so guys, I did a video talking about the different types of Eba Pura clones that I have. And if you want to check that out, click on the link above. I also talked about how this lasts on my skin and compared it to others, okay? So if you want to find out how this performs, go and check that video out. But yeah, this is from Latafa and it's Anna Abiyed. I am Guys, that was so quick. I wanted to make this video as short as possible, okay? If there's something that you want me to do on a regular, please let me know in the comment section and I'll actually consider doing it because I enjoyed it, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something new or if you're going to be checking out these fragrances that I talked about, please let me know in the comment section and if you have tried them, tell me what you think about them in the comment section. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, please guys, like this video if you enjoyed it and if it helped you, please click the subscribe button, okay? Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.